Alright, hi everybody, Weather Guy here. We're back with more Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you're doing great. The first thing I actually noticed right before I started recording, I looked at my inventory because I want to see how things were looking. And I looked at this fabric and I read the description. It says it could be used to make a paraglider, so that's interesting. I don't know how we would get the rest of the paraglider made, but it's still pretty interesting sounding. Uh, we have some sort of pin there, so let's go check that out, actually. Oh, we don't have an easy way to get there, though. Where's the... Oh, is that it right there? Ooh, and... Yeah, we saw that dragon. That's the pin. Okay. Let's make our way there. Kind of far, but we can do it. We haven't really explored much of this region yet. Yeah, I hope y'all are having a solid day. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain. I realized... So do y'all... <laughs> Let me rephrase this. So do y'all ever... Listen to music on, like, YouTube? Oh, that's a beehive, not a banana. Y'all ever listen to music on YouTube, though? And then you're like, man, I want to add this to my Spotify or my iTunes or whatever it is that you Apple folks use, right? But do y'all ever want to do that with songs you find on YouTube and you realize, oh man, it is not available on Spotify. And you get sad. That happened to me a while back with, uh, well, that's interesting that this road goes, oh, this is Martha's Landing. Okay. That happened to me recently with like a little village or something with a song by Mark Reveille. Y'all don't recognize that name. He's the guy who does the morning alarm like uh, electric like EDM music, right? Where he's like in his pajamas on a stream yelling and playing fancy music and dancing and drinking, right? And that song is like... Oh shit, how's it go? Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. He says that, right? And that's like the drop part of it. This is an interesting section. Somehow we avoided that lizard. Anyway. That's, that's who I'm talking about. And he has another song that I like a lot. This is such a boring segue. <laughs> the, that, there's another song that he has that I like called uh die or i want to die something like that right very similar sort of vibe but it's very catchy i discovered it from a crash bandicoot 100 percent speed run essay <laughs> they use that music for part of it anyway i was looking for that song on spotify a while back it was simply not there. Mark Rebillier's on there with a lot of his music, but that song wasn't there. Right before I started recording, I was like, you know what? This thought randomly occurred to me. I'm just going to see if it's there now. And holy moly, it's there. And also, holy moly, we found a stable. The power of following roads. Oh, and that that's the stable connected, I think, to this shrine, maybe. I don't see another shrine. Okay. Cool, let's get our pony point. Oh yeah, that's that was a... Open a sanctuary for new animal species across the ravine. Oh, oh this is bad, though. Because... No. It was probably the, like, imposter Zelda. Oh. Or evil Zelda, whatever it is. One point away from the next reward, which I believed was extra registration oh. slots for horses, which is whatever. I don't really use it. Ooh. But, yeah, it's always fine discovering music. When it's raining, the well behind the stable is too full for me to go inside. <laughs> but, oh. Oh, there is a well. That I was going to explore recently in another video, and then I didn't do it. Where was this at? Oh no, I think it was at another stable or something. I totally forgot about that. 
just it just occurred to me after talking to him about another well. Oh no. <laughs> I hate that. That I forgot about that. Oh man. I think I, I owe it to myself to explore this well. But we have to be careful. We don't know what all we can find down here. Looks like a whole lot of not much except for the fish and the rock that I gotta break. I was hoping we would get our... There he is. I keep forgetting. You know, I think is his name? Oh, come on. Why did you disappear? How does... Why is this crap so buggy? all I wanted. Right. Oh. I think I saw a topaz too. Oh, I did. Where's it at? Yeah, I could have sworn I saw a yellow glint go right by my face. There it is. Hang on. <laughs> Surely I can just... Okay. I think that's all that's down here. That was fine. But yeah, do y'all have any songs like that? Sure you do. Of songs that are on YouTube, but you can't find in other sources. Like your white whales of songs. Or maybe they're on... Like artists' sound clouds or band camps or whatever. I get that. It happens a lot when they make music that is uses the instrumental of a famous song, right? All right, let's see. Beatles. Actually, we can go ahead and sell them our topaz we just got and stuff. Maybe buy some more arrows. Very good. We should cook too while we're here, probably, huh? We have a little bit to cook. Arrows. I never have too many arrows. So we just got 30 more. We're at 91 arrows. That's incredible. Okay. There's a cooking place over here. What do we want to cook? I think we want to cook it's tomatoes. And another batch of these and like add the mushrooms why not okay and then we can do we just cook one of these I think like a truffle yeah oh that's really good um back power just an apple makes body glow endure shroom okay We'll just save those, I guess. I don't know. What about this one? Chilfin! Okay. Uh, let's look inside the stable real quick. Oh no, I don't want to hear anything depressing. Really gotta find out what to do about getting those fairies. Fairy fires. It looks like his butt's on fire. Look at that guy. <laughs> anyway. Clearland Village. Wow, there's a lot of things here. Oh, it's the mountain. Okay. A lot of stuff here. Let's go for the shrine first. And that'll also lead us to a higher vantage point, too. how many hearts I have. I can't believe we're not on that second row yet. It's crazy. Bananas. There they are. <laughs> I remember this location from Breath of the Wild. 
It's not a very consequential location either. There's not any shrine. I mean, there's shrines there, but there's not any uh, divine beasts, right? It's just an area you can explore and do side quests and things in if you want to. But it's not. It's kind of a pain to explore because there's a lot of these cliffs. You know, a lot of climbing to do things like that. And I kind of like open landscapes more to the dense forest. The dense forests just make me a little nervous. Alright, almost there. And also there's lizard folk around here. Alright, is it just around this corner or do we need to go up another level? The suspicious rock formation and mud and stuff. Isn't it? I feel like it is. Now let's go up. I feel like it wasn't at the very top, but I guess it is. More bananas? Dude, how do y'all feel about bananas, like in real life? Are y'all banana fans? I enjoy bananas. I think they're delicious. They're not my favorite fruit. My favorite fruit's oranges. Oranges are so good. But bananas? They hit pretty good too, and they're good for you. But oranges, for sure, my favorite. And it's my favorite color. The thing I like about... That I like to do with oranges. You may have heard of this. Building bridges. Seems like a simple one. The thing I like to do with oranges is I like to peel an orange, naturally, and then I like to eat it in the shower. And I tell you what, people have talked about shower beers before, but no way it's as good as a shower orange. It feels so citrusy and clean. <laughs> They're delicious. All right, I haven't tried it with other fruit yet. That also might just have been TMI, but I don't think it's that bad. Alright, so we have to build a bridge here. And it's got a safety net if you fall, so that's cool. I think what we need to do is connect it from this end over here, so we gotta get off and... Do this, so we can reach it. Like this. And instead of climbing up the ladder like a pleb, we'll just do this. Boom. Actually, I messed up, because I pushed B instead of A made that much less cool. But yeah, big banana fan, big orange fan. Growing up, my favorite fruit was uh, peaches. Peaches are great, too. Apples are okay. Uh, pineapples and pears are cool. I usually just like them if they're, like, dice, though, like, already part of something. Like you get in a can. <laughs> you know. Not big on the texture of eating pineapples and pears for whatever reason. So what do we do with this? Does this reach all the way? It must. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. I wonder... go over this? No, not really. Hmm. Mess with this some more. Hang on. Oh, come on. That You know what I wanted to do there. I think that might have been too tight. Let's try doing this one. Okay, that, I think that works. I think we can still... Is there a chest up here? No. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Any enemies? Doesn't seem like it? Okay. Uh, bridge stuff there. Don't see what I can connect to. Let's see, what else? 
Oh, I see. There's this metal bar here. Okay, let's let's see how this is looking. Doesn't connect to the bar. Oh, here's an idea. Yeah. yeah. Connect to yourself. Is that ever a thing? Guess not. Let's try it more like this, though. Let's see if we can do it this way. It'll connect to itself. No. Okay, good. So now we know. If we do that, it doesn't stick still. Okay. Oh, this is something. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to make this work, actually. Oh, I know. It's so simple. You just use it as a weight. Oh, wrong piece. So you just, like, do this. <laughs> okay. And I think we just pull this over the top. Yeah. Do this. Yeah, okay. Simple enough. I think that's it. Oh no, we still got a ways to go. Or maybe we don't. And we got one more bridge? Oh, this is just for the chest if we want to mess with this one. I see. Do you want to mess with it, though? I don't see how to do this one, actually. Oh, like this. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I had it there. There we go. Okay. Woo. Large zone. Right. That seems really good. Saving. That's a good sign. And okay. Shrine done. Shrine done. Pretty easy one. Not too painful. We're going to keep doing shrines and making our way towards the southwest zone. Generally, we're going to clear as many as we see in this zone that we're in right now. We're not going to go too crazy, right? Let's see what happens. Look at that. Very intriguing. Can we see any shrines from up here, though? Let's look for that first. Oh, another cave. Is that the same one? Am I stupid? Same one. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any more shrines. Okay. Kind of want to check out that cave thing over there, so let's do that. It'd be pretty easy to reach, I imagine. Since we can do our swim moves. Is that a rat? What is that? No, it's not a rat. It's a farm animal of some kind. Because there's a fire next to it. I feel like... It, I don't know. I need to do these because I can tell that this is part of a puzzle to get a... Or rock, I think. I've just been totally ignoring these. I don't know why, because they look pretty s straightforward. You just do like this. Yeah. Easy. Give me that. Took like 20 seconds. Alright. I think the move here is to swap clothes to swim gear, which we already did. And then we climb over here, jump into the waterfall. Then we go up. Maybe we get some air. A little bit. Oh, 
Fish. Oh, oh well, screw it. Uh, there's also a Korok over here. You can see the circle of clovers. So I think if I go on top and I dive into it. Also, there's a strong current here from the waterfalls. It's making things a little difficult. I think I can make it to this waterfall. Maybe. Are we getting closer? I'm trying to look at the line at the top. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting there. We're almost there. Up. Yeah. I think if we just dive here. Yeah. Easy. Cracking them up. Two in a row. Alright, up, 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 back here. I don't remember exactly where that cave was at anymore, by the way. I know it's on one of these waterfalls. Above it. We'll find it. Maybe. Potentially. What's <laughs> oh, right here? There's also a nerd. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go check this out. Not too nervous because it's not low on the ground, so I feel like the chances of us running into bloom stuff is fairly low. There might be monsters and things still, but. I'm just not gloom. I'm not too upset about it. You know? Might just be a bubble frog thing. Which I don't know how I feel about that either. I haven't really found the use for those yet. This stuff. I wonder if I need to use Rock Man. I don't know. Incredible. Gonna do that again in a second. Right now we're just getting a fill for our environment. Where's the loot? There's the loot, I guess. And I have for scary. Oh no, no, never mind. I guess we're not doing it. Not going down there. Heck no, didn't pay me enough money. <laughs> All right, can we do this? Sick. Won't catch me going down to no depths. No way. Birdman. Uh, rock formation. I bet this is a Korok over here, too. We're really high up. But again, we're not really seeing any new shrines. Oh. Hello? Okay, now this is more like it. Okay. Cool. Still a little sketchy, but less so. And we missed. <laughs> okay, let's try again, buddy. Let's do this first. Fantastic. This is just Zonite and Flint. Luminous Stone. Ah, oh, okay. That makes more sense. Alright. Chances of us running into an enemy are very high, I feel like, in this next room. Big room. 
Oh, there's a whole little doodad right here. Okay. Are those? Yeah, they seem safe. Where you at? Where you at? Where'd you go? Right here. Perfect. Yeah, there it is. Where you at? Yeah. Okay. Get the bubble gem. Do this and this. Nice. Amber. Picking up a rock. Very cool. <laughs> Is there anything else? I didn't see any other things. Oh, there's something over here. I just saw a glow. Arrow. Oh, that's the one I shot at the rabbit. Okay, so that's another way out. We came from... Oh, did we come from up there? No, we came from above, right? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. Bright bloom seeds are good to collect. Also, we have a... Oh, no, it's moon time. We hate moons. Cool. Hosty bright cap. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I know, Zelda. Yeah. When the glow of the blood stained moon yeah, I know. shines upon the land. Okay. <laughs> down we go. Don't know what to expect down here. But getting all these bright bloom seeds is a little foreboding. I feel like we're just going to go into depths again. Oh, is this the one I was just at? Bet it is. No, it's not. There's explosives right here. <gasps> oh, f -f 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 okay. And he is tough looking. You can tell because the color. Not red. Now here's the plan. Oh. You can't crouch and do this? Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Not what I intended. But we take those. Good thing I have a ton of arrows. Nice. We got a hit. The eldest Enox brother? That doesn't sound good. Oh, I need to swap weapons. I can't just... can't just keep whacking them with that. Come on, hurry up. Okay, okay, what do we hit them with? Just use these up. Fantastic, fantastic. Move, 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 move. <laughs> His eye is so huge. Oh, that seems good. That seems good. Can't carry more of those? Okay, we'll worry about that later. Okay, back away. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's actually not that bad of an enemy. Especially when you have all these allies helping out. Let's do the big stick. Terrible shot. There we go. Arrow's doing plenty of damage too, honestly.
All right, I think we got him. Uh, yeah, we did it. Easy fight. We've only fought one of those so far, near the very, very beginning. Like when we first came down in the sky. Ooh. Look at all this cool stuff. <laughs> or I don't know if we killed him last time. I, we might have just ran away. I don't remember. There are also a lot of luminous stone in here. They're rolling away. Not what I wanted. Not what I intended. That's okay. Can't wait to get to do desert stuff again. All this luminous stone, which I'm sure I'll get good use out of when I eventually actually do depth stuff. It just makes me so nervous. Just gotta build up this big health pool before I'm ready, you know? Tons of flint, too. More than I'll ever need. I think that's about it. This guy was just chilling all the way down here. I noticed he was a brother, right? The eldest one, so... That's interesting. Look at this glow over here. Interesting. This stuff. Scared me. Okay. We just. Oh, okay. Never mind. You want to get out of here? Let's see where this leads. This is where we entered at, through that, those rocks and into that thing. I'm up here. Yeah. Well, I've seen most of this zone from high up. So, I think I actually want to go back here and then go west. Oh, we started over here and came all the way this way? Yeah, I think I'm going to come here and then go this way. Along the road. I think that's the move. Definitely missing a ton of shrines here though. We've only had like three found in this whole region so far, but they don't want to be found. They don't want to be found, you know? Nothing I can do about that. Also, I want to get whatever our fourth power is from the helpers. All right, so we need to be going West, which is this way. Mm -hmm. Also, grab our horse. We never use our horse. We make ourselves a wagon and this whistling noise. That was so high pitched. So which way are we going? To the left. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Look at us. We're riding a horse in a Zelda game finally. <laughs> the camp up here or something. Phone just vibrated too. You might be hearing that. Okay. 
Something I discovered on Disney Plus tonight is they have their own ambient programs on there, like to put yourself to sleep and stuff. They're very nice and high quality. Oh, we're turning right here. Oh. Okay, going down through here. Don't care about your friend Korok, sorry buddy. It's another camp up ahead. Okay, we're following the road. We'll just ride past. Keep an eye for... Keep an eye for uh, shrines. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, that was fine. Oh, is this more camp stuff? Oh, this might actually be a problem. Hang on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep going west. We at least gotta cross this river. I get over this these big cliffs up here one thing that's amazed me is I haven't really seen I don't think I've, I've seen a single Lionel so far kind of crazy dense forest no thank you we're gonna go around the dense forest with the camp uh, fire up there it might be another um, table go check that location out Hopefully we can get there without having to climb too much with all this rain. This uh, apple Korok. That's it. Oh. Okay. Like that. I don't want to ride the horse anymore. We got some good mileage out of him. But with these cliffs and stuff, I don't want to deal with it, you know? Dun, dun, dun. Sky maze. It's a different one, too. Or at least it's a sky cube. We still never made it to the other one. A shrine over there. Like a quest shrine. Alright, let's slow down a little bit as we get to the top of this ridge. Uh, no, that's not a stable. But it might still be okay. Let's see what this shrine is like first. Oh, I hear a stable. Maybe I did oh. Oh, the shrine's gonna involve flying. I see. Or gliding, rather. Might be a race through rings thing. Seek the crystal, connect to the beam, and offer it to the shrine. Do so. Oh, it's one of these. I don't like these. Something at the camp. Birds. Well, maybe there is a stable over there at that smoke pit. We shall see. Oh, are we going to have to do something to get it from this nerd? your horse. I bet we have to buy it from him. That crystal is mine. You've got no right to just up and take it. Look at that angry face. Quit that. For all you like, but you'll never put one over on me. That crystal is mine. Got it? Okay. 
Do you need something from me? There's nowhere better to watch whole herds of wild horses go by. There's something wrong with that. I love horses, so I come here to see them in the wild. It's that simple. But you know, there is something else here, almost as interesting as a horse. You know that one crumbled part of the mountain where the runes fell next to the stone shrine a little ways down the hill? Found this mysterious crystal that must have fallen as well, and as soon as I saw it, I had a genius idea. Look at the way this crystal glitters. Don't you think that would look handsome on a horse? I could prop it up in the saddle or attach it to the harness. Whatever makes the horse look most incredible. I need that horse. Or I need that crystal. <laughs> Makes sense. As a fellow horse lover, you'd also want to deck out your favorite steed with this one. With one, I get it. Just because I get it doesn't mean I'm going to hand it over, no questions asked. Though maybe you can help me out. I've been hearing talk about an enormous horse spotted in this region. I'd love the chance to see this giant horse for myself, but I haven't had any luck so far. But here you are. From one horse lover to another, I have a proposal. You can bring me that gigantic horse the crystal's all yours. I'm not going to leave you to search without a single hint either. You should ask around at the stables. The ways down the road east from here is Highland Stable. You could try there. Lots of people gather at stables. They're good places to get tips straight from the horse's mouth. <sighs> okay. That's the one we came from, correct? Is Highland Stable? Over here. Wait. So far now. I just one we we're close to another one. I guess not. Sorry, I'm having to adjust my headphones, they're starting to hurt. <laughs> Alright. Let's go check out this smoke over here. More bird enemies. Dragon over there. Bird just saw me. I think this is around where Lionel was at in Breath of the Wild, patrolling this area. I think I've only beaten Breath of the Wild three times, so I might be hazy on it. That dragon's way up there. Look at that puppy. Come on. Oh gosh, should I just screw up? Oh. oh, there's one there, and then there's one way up there. Interesting. I bet that one up there is more rare, you know? I need to locate where the tower is at for this region, and then make a beeline for that, I think. And we also need to keep an eye on our temperature gauge, too. We're going into desert land and where that can have wide ranges of temperatures because of the dry air. Stable? No. Campfire. Okay. I think we're, our goal right now is just to head up on the highest point we can. Keeping an eye out for shrines along the way. Pretty cool looking dragon. <laughs> okay, okay, game. <laughs> it scared me way too much. Just a little bubble boy. I just got really excited. About the dragon. Let's climb for a bit so I can look at the dragon while oh, I can't see it. I say this all the time, but I'm still upset I don't have any climbing gear, you know? Oh well. Try to get to this little crack right here. Then continue upwards. A good stopping spot today would be doing the tower if we find it. I have a feeling once we get over this ridge, over this big cliff right here, we'll be able to see it. Oh, it is getting hot. I knew that would happen. It is a desert, but I'm hoping with just one piece of not too hot gear we'll be okay. 
If not, we're going to need to rethink our strategy. Why did I not? Here we go. Now let's do it. But we, we don't have too much higher up to get, I don't think, really. Is that the stable over there? I wonder if that little lone leaf over there is a Korok. On that rock, you see it? How high are we? We're getting there. Try to get on this little ridge over here to our top right. Dun, 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 dun. Take a breather and recover our stamina. All right, this might work. Yeah. Okay, good. And then finish our climb. We should be able to make it to the top now. Lots of distance. Cool. Well, that might have been a camp actually over there. Now that I'm thinking about it, where that smoke is. Oh, it's still too hot. We gotta get up and then get down. Get down with the sickness. See if I have any heat resistance items. Yeah, we're starting to take damage. Oh no. Shit. Heat resistance, heat resistance, no heat resistance, fantastic. Oil drawer, no. So I think what I need to do, so do, these, do the chill, which one of these protect against heat? No, it's the chill shrooms that do. Okay, so we need to make it to the top. We're going to make it to the top, and then we're going to cook real quick. I think that's the play. But we'll probably need to buy either the helmet or the bottoms. I think the helmet's more expensive, though. It's not unbearable yet. Oh, there it is. All right, so now let's get out our cooking pot. Okay, and then let's make just a bunch of chill shrimps, I think is the move. Yeah, and then we eat it. Where is it? I just made it, there it is. Oh, this is it too. Okay. Now we're good for a while. Okay, up we go. Don't gotta tell me twice. Make it to the fridge. Okay. Continuing up. And we're gonna keep an eye on that gauge too to see how far to the right it gets, our temperature gauge. That'll help tell us how many, if we need a full set of fire resistant gear or what, you know? Not moving too much more yet. Up we go. Remind me that we gotta look out for Endura carrots too. That was what one of the fairies wanted at a fountain. I know it's in one of these southwest regions. So it might be this one. And we're getting high up. Just keep going up how close we are to this thing all of a sudden, this maze that we, was in the distance earlier, you know? Wow, look at the sun here. Oh my god, it's baking. What the fuck? What is this hellhole? Oh, not you. Dude, we got a whole gang. What are you doing? See, 
See you later. Oh, maybe not. Sword broke, naturally. Destroyed. Okay. So well, let's keep doing what we need to do, which is look for tower. Really hard to see. Over there, you can see the glow. There's a pit for gloom to the depths and stuff over there. But we're gonna make our way to the tower, it's not too far. The maze right there. Great. That's a shrine. And then we would just need to find our way to the above shrine, which seems very it seems as difficult as the last one. We'll see. Should be able to make this glide, I think. Provided that we don't get shot by an arrow from the lizard. I think we'll make it to the top of the tower before it's time to end the video, too, provided that there's not a tower quest thing. There's a shrine over there. Very nice. Dragon. Jeez, there's lots of stuff going on. Crazy how bright and sunny this zone is right now. It wasn't like this in Breath of the Wild. It wasn't nearly this... This sad. It's like Dune out here. Crazy. Excited for that movie, too. I'm not super familiar with the source material, so I'm excited because I know everything's going to surprise me, you know? I know it gets crazy. That's pretty much all I know. What are these things? I don't trust them. Birds baited me. Dragon's probably protecting something too up there, like a shrine or something. I haven't fought any of those still. Tower is where? Cold? Oh yeah, yeah, because dry, so big temperature swings. Fun! So let's swap to some cold gear. We have two pieces of that, so that should be fine. I think that's the same shrine. Where's the... Shoot, where'd the tower go? Hello? Oh, shrine over there, too. Jeez Louise. I think that's the plateau right there, the Great Plateau. Yeah. Alright, let's just go do this shrine over here real quick. Look at the little things blowing in the wind. How did I miss this shrine? What do you call them? These things that blow in the wind? Oh, what's the word for them? I know there's a word for it. It's like a rolling haystack. Oh gosh, what's it called? I forget. Tumbleweeds. That's it. Came to me right as I said I forgot. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to make it up to the shrine. We'll do this. And then we'll probably call it. No tower today. Got a little bit lost in the sauce trying to find it. Happens. Really curious to see what the shrine's like, by the way, now that we're in a new region. Like, if it adds any sort of mechanics to it or whatever else. Or new zone eye pieces, even. We shall see. I think we're at 
two right now of the and oh, we're at just one. Okay. Sad. Upward and forward. There's a piece there to work with. So can we just Okay. A good introductory one to show us how it works. Seems like we just do this. Uh, that's probably fine. Yeah. Easy. Alright, little rotating thing there that leads up to a chest. So this part doesn't disconnect, but this part we can lose forever too if we want to. Can we reach it from here? I wonder. Can. I think they designed that perfectly where you don't lose the piece if you want to use it for something else. Like this thing. Super obvious puzzle here. That's okay though. <laughs> Especially when you can't when you can't perform. <laughs> I mean, I might need to connect it on the edge instead of on top to make it an easier jump. That's the excuse I'm going to use. I can also freeze it. Looking like this is probably easier. Oh, hang on. Let's go. How did that happen? Dude, I want that chest now. Like, I'm not giving up on this chest. We're gonna try this again. Alright, so we're just gonna do on top again. We're gonna do more towards the edge. Like that, I think is good. That's better, I think goes over the top so it doesn't clip there and I think we freeze when it gets close like this oh whatever well we'll let it do another round you know what I meant because <laughs> we can do this and then oh no we can't not really we'll just we're just gonna go for it okay One downside to doing the shrine is we're losing our heat resistance time too. For next time it's daytime. Ten arrows, sick. Is it worth all that trouble? Maybe not, but that's okay. It's still useful, you know? Uh, I think we just... No, not quite like that. I think we gotta angle it better. Like this. Maybe. Hmm. So now what we need is the weight to go down, I think. What happens if I do this? Do I just... Okay, so now we can rotate this, bring it forward this way, go down with it, and then attach it from the bottom. Why is it not? Okay, we're fine. More than one way to skin a cat, which is a terrible saying, by the way. Terrifying. But can we just do like this sort of thing? If I straighten it out? I don't think so. I don't think this is going to be... Oh, well, maybe actually if we attach it. Might be fine. Angle's too bad. We gotta fix the angle on it. Let's just... 
Look at this. It attaches at a terrible angle. <laughs> okay. No way I jumped that like that. Whatever. Uh, what do we got going on here? We got a thing we gotta hit. What does this do? Launches up. Okay, I see. We gotta get flung. So if we just do this, it's not gonna be enough, correct? If we just, like, stand here, it's just not gonna... Yeah, okay. Any pieces on the bottom? No, so we need to use our arrow. We need this puppy, at least. So how do we do this? Do we just need to extend the range of motion, do something like this, and then... Edit this a little bit, get more like this sort of angle going on. I don't know if this is a solution, but it seems like it's not a bad idea. Yeah, it was a good idea. <laughs> Sweet. And I had a good time. This is where we're going to end it. Next time, we're going to continue our quest to find this tower, make our way to learning about what the phenomena is here, which seems like it might just be extreme heat and cold because this weather sucks. Coming from a weather guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. But yeah, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Beautiful. And I'll see you all next time. So take care of yourselves and peace out.